What is happening guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to tackle Norlando. So if you're just tuning into the series because you've reached Norlando and you're not sure where to go, I'll actually show you how to get to this bonfire where I'm coming from in just a moment. Now let's leave that head on up. We're going to reactivate this mechanism and move the central column. Uh, now, as a reminder, back during the Sense Fortress episode, I mentioned that you guys wanted to pick up some poison arrows. And the real reason for the poison arrows wasn't Sense Fortress, it was what is about to come. You'll understand why we got those in just a moment. But for those that haven't been following episode by episode, when you first get into an Orlando, it's going to be up there. You're going to kind of follow that pathway like that. There's a bonfire behind this tower. You'll go into this tower, take the elevator down. You'll pop out right here, fight a gargoyle. Uh, after that, you'll take this buttress all the way up, go into the broken glass panel right there, walk across the catwalks very carefully. They will eventually get you over to there, that platform that you see. From that platform, you will run all the way down this thing, and then you'll reach the bonfire we were just at. And then upon leaving the bonfire and reactivating the mechanism, now connected the original bonfire, to the primary part of an Orlando. So anyway, moving on forward, first thing we're going to do is tackle two knights. We got a couple of bat demons, and then the legendary Norlando archers. So as for the knights, uh, what I would suggest is just hit one with an arrow. Oh, nope, he aggroed on his own. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, pull one away. Don't go too far down the stairs, or he'll de-aggro completely and walk back. But you can pull the one knight, and it'll make things a hell of a lot easier having just the one to tangle with instead of both at the same time. Proceed forward. I'd also suggest swapping to the bow again real fast, just because this next part's kind of funny. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to hit this bat demon. <laughs> I'll never get tired of doing that. I really find it just hilarious that it's a demon with wings that clearly picked us up and flew us here, but despite that, it can't fly. And it, it has such a low poise threshold that you could literally just sit here and spam arrows and kill this thing if you wanted. Um, but it's just really funny to knock them off and watch them fall to their death. Uh, if you want their spear, feel free to farm them. Not that good, but it's a cool looking weapon. Anyway, proceeding down here, we got two more of those demons. Uh, what I would suggest doing is just running this way and doing a sprinting attack. For this one, you can already see the arrows coming down, so I'm going to back up a little bit. Fight him right here, slightly safer area. Hop on off your health, and prepare for Maximus Bullshitimus. So he, these are the Norlando archers. The reason they are so annoying is that those arrows, as you can see, not only do a buttload of damage, but they also do a significant amount of knockback. And uh, right here, this one's not too bad because it's like semi-protected. But the rest of the buttresses here, they don't have railings, making this exceedingly difficult. Now, you could get good, learn to perfectly time your rolls and fight your way to them. Or alternatively, you could be the cheesiest player an Orlando has ever seen, which is what I'm about to teach you to do. So, first we're going to use regular arrows just to find the mark. Now, it's a little bit tricky to hit this guy. You kind of got to aim a little bit to the left of him and be, like, even with his chest. And we just need to see one. Once we hit for one damage, we know we're in the sweet spot. There we go. At that point, swap over to your poison arrows. One arrow. Two arrow. And now he is poisoned. Same thing to... This wonderful lad over here. So again, let me uh, swap to my regular arrows. Find the mark. Perfect. Two poison arrows. 
Perfect. And now you're done. Um, so typically you'd have to sit here and deal with these assholes, and... I, I mean, to be honest, while... I know I'm probably gonna catch flack from this from a lot of the veterans in the community for suggesting such an immensely cheesy strategy. At the end of the day, anyone who has played the first Dark Souls knows the pain and anguish that is experienced dealing with the Norlando archers. And to be honest, in most cases, I would say, you know, get good, this is overcoming adversary. But, you know, even after all these years, I still think the Norlando archers aren't an adversary, they're just a heaping pile of bullshit. And because of that, I'm going to sit here and drink this delicious blackberry tea while they slowly die to poison. And if you disagree with me, that's, that's fine. Now, I fully admit that this is an incredibly cheesy strap, but fuck these guys, because I'm not getting knocked off to my death. And quite simply, you shouldn't either, you know? Work smarter, not harder. So uh, this is a good point to, you know, get up, go pee real fast... Uh, maybe grab a beer if you're a smoker, which I don't condone. I smoked for about 10 years myself. Uh, recently quit, so hooray to me. But this is a great time to go have a smoke break. So, you know, do whatever. And uh, after just a little bit here, see they are slowly ticking along. And honestly, if nothing else, this is a testament to just how ridiculous poison is in the original Dark Souls. Like, if you poison someone in PvP and they do not have moss to get rid of it, do you know how obnoxious that is? You could have a potential 3-4 minute fight with somebody and the entirety of it, your health is constantly ticking down. God, it's miserable. Right, and they are about dead. Let's watch them die. Yeah, look at them. Oh, that's so good. This one can't hit us. See, technically what you're supposed to do is like run this way, and this one can't hit you for a second, so you gotta run over and you gotta take out that one real fast. Then after he's done, you can go take out this one. But I ain't got time for that. They can just die. So, i go over here, grab the soul of a hero. My health just dropped. Notice that? My health just dropped. That was weird. Um, and let me scroll down my notes. Let's see, soul item, yep. All right, then we're gonna go back up. Um, I like actually running diagonally just to make sure I stay against the wall. You know, I, I, going straight, I constantly feel like I'm gonna slip off at any time, just kind of a tip for this area. But anyway, with the archers dead, I'll slip on around, drop down, go through the fog wall, and first door on our left is a bonfire. Not any bonfire, but a bonfire with Brolair. Oh, there you are. You, you. So anyway, say hi to Solaire. I've got to make sure to go through his dialogue, keep the question going. Um, just for good measure, go ahead and kindle this bad boy. Like I said, you can kindle the previous bonfire we started this episode at, or this one. I mean, hell, you can kindle both, but unless you're going to use the other one as your uh, bonfire to run to the boss too, it's not worth it. Um, for those curious right now, obviously Vitality is still 30, as I have met the... Oh no, I just leveled Strength, son of a bitch. Um, anyway, for now I'm going to be focusing Endurance, basically. I got Strength and Dex high enough for my weapon uh, at this point. Once you meet weapon requirements, um, just as a general rule of thumb, vitality to 30, endurance to 20, weapon requirements if they aren't completely outrageous, like in the 50s, uh, and then from there I will usually go endurance to 40, vitality to 50, and then strength or dex up to 40, or both if you're going quality. But so anyway, from here, um, let's see, Bava! such a cool attack. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave the bonfire. First thing we're going to do is open this door, and we got a silver knight waiting for us. 
Now these guys are just like Black Knights in the sense that you can either parry them or backstab them. Uh, in my opinion, they don't look nearly as cool. Go ahead and take them on out, pop open the chest, get yourself some Sunlight Medals. Anyway, let me see. Yep. Now we have another silver this way. Oh, a little too early. I thought he was going for the stab. And we're going to open the door on our left. This looks like it's empty, but... Pop that. Proceed downstairs for a bunch of loots. Um... One of these is a Mimic, this one. Um, now, I mentioned this earlier, but for those that missed it, if you're having trouble with Mimics, which you really shouldn't be at this point, uh, but if you use the Lloyd's Talismans, so we will boop the Mimic. Notice how he just peacefully goes back into his box. Now, obviously, he will wake up again, but if you're having trouble with him, uh, it is one way to kind of, uh, I guess, lessen the, the painful experience of fighting those things. Anyway, you got the Occult Club now, which is, Occult is like the equivalent of a Dark Enchant weapon in the original Dark Souls. Uh, aside from that, get the Dragon Tooth. Get the Havel's Great Shield. Get Havel's Helm and Armor. And then get Havel's Gauntlets and Leggings. Now, you too can be a beefy boy. So if you have absolutely no regard for fashion and just want to be the beefiest, most heavily armored beast, go on, slap on the gear, be on your way. Um, otherwise, let me see... Do, 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 do. So after that, we're going to go on through uh, this other door. We'll have a... Which one is it? Stairs. The door on the left has another Silver Knight soul item. I'm missing a door. Oh, yeah, never mind. Leave and go upstairs. Herp to derp. Getting confused by my own damn notes. Tell you what, even in all the hours I've played Dark Souls, I still have trouble parrying enemies that use a, uh, enemies that use, like, a spear. I still am terrible at sparing spears. Anyway, kill that guy. Go over here and grab the soul of a hero. Um, there is another Titanite Demon here. If you are a caster, you can cheese this thing. You can also... Peg it with arrows if you get just the right angle, though it's a little bit tricky. Honestly, we're just going to go down and kill him the old-fashioned way, because that's we are right now. Uh, so anyway, let's see. Back outside and go around to the left. Another mimic right here. This one will drop us the gold coin. Um, the coins you can use to temporarily boost your item discovery. Kind of nice. Here, for another Mimic. This one will give us five silver coins. Um, now, right here... I'm not going to be doing this just yet. But we're going to be making our way into this room. For now, we can't. Uh, but there are a bunch of neat dragon statues in here. But when we go downstairs, there's going to be a couple knights. And then that will eventually be our shortcut back to the boss. For now, however, killing both the mimics, we're going to go this way. Got an archer down at the end of the hall. Let's run up and smash. Smash. And 
then we're going to take this door to enter a oddly creepy bedroom. Sleep in this thing, it's disgusting. Things that are hanging and your children. I don't know. At some point, people that lived here, I'd assume. No longer. Anyway, I'll pop this open. Kill the night. And I head on out and up the stairs. Alright, now there are a knight there. There's also a knight there. For now, at least, we're going to sprint on across. Um, not worry about that guy for now. Just get on over. You can you can kill this guy fast enough. Do it. Um, that one should not aggro if you stay all the way down here. But anyway, we want to kill that knight and then go down this way. And onion bro. So anyway, he needs help. Basically, there are a bunch of silver knights on the other side of this door. Tell him, say, I got this. Open the door. And then just go in there and beast mode it like the pimp you are. Kill all of them. Go ahead and pop open the chest to get some demon titanite. Open the door, and then go back and talk to Onion Bro. Mm -hmm. What's on your wait? You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This take this as a token of my gratitude. You any beings ring. Completely exhaust. Uh, Tiny Being's Ring increases your health very slightly. Not really worth using in my experience. Um, I don't know why I'm going that way. I gotta go back up. Get my directions mixed. Uh, so now we're gonna go back up and go to that knight that was at the center. Gonna kill him. Too slow. Too slow. You know what? This is gonna t this is gonna turn into the fugs of the uh, the Dark Souls one walkthrough. But I mean, can you guys really blame me for using this bad boy? Um, so with where we go next, if you end up dying, um, you know, we're because this is like a double-sided column. Like you can see right there, there's another spiral on this staircase. Uh, you can actually get here kind of by doing a bit of a trick jump. If you die, just something to keep in mind. Uh, if you die before opening up the shortcut, that'll take us on back. Um, so from here... Jump the railing... Yes, the door on the right has two knights and the full silver knight set, so we'll go up to that first. Uh, this is the one earlier with the dragons. And go down the stairs a little bit. This one will come. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ow. I'm impressed that he, uh, he just, wow, dude, give me your shield, bro. Dude is just tanking it like nothing. Silver Knight Helm and armor. The armor does look really slick. Especially with my, uh, my chest. Yeah, uh, the boar head. Hey, <laughs> dude, looks good, right? Anyway, open this door. Then, uh, if we open the door... Oh, no, never mind. Wrong door. Okay, yeah. That's the shortcut door. So, right back that way is the bonfire. Now, for now, I uh, go on up. Try and take down Beefy Boy. I have grown since I last fought a Titanite Demon. I am stronger than you now. Oh man, that's the one scary attack. Oh, he's still mean. So remember how I said they get exponentially stronger? Yeah, you're kind of seeing that now. These guys can... Did 
used up all my Estus. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna... No, no, no. Alright, so I don't like doing this, but there's too damn strong. But the thing is, I don't want to come all the way back here to kill this asshole. Um, you cannot poison these guys, so don't waste time with your poison arrows. This is one of those instances where really, you know, you just, you gotta have, I need more stamina, I need better stats, I need to do more damage. Like I said, you can cheese them with arrows or spells. I like to call this the Skyrim cheese. But usually he stops and he just leaves his knee exposed in the door. You're just doing this over and over, putting arrows in his knee. Actually, I don't want to use up any more of my arrows. Mm. I should just go and get my flasks filled, but instead... Oh my god! Huge pain in the ass! Oh, but we get two Demon Titanites for our trouble. Um, so from here, we're going to take the center path up. Actually, no, we're not. From here, we're going to go back down to the bonfire and get my happy ass some Estus before I die. Actually, looking at the time, I think this might be a good point to wrap up this episode for now. Because we still have a inch of Norlando left and uh, one of the hardest bosses up until now, so... Um, let me see... Yeah, you know, this is a good spot. So, alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here. Um, next episode, we are gonna get the remaining loot in this area, as well as fight good old Ornstein and Smo. So, anyway, stay tuned, and we will catch you guys with our first big boy boss battle in the next episode.